Hi there, and welcome to Unilad Gaming's weekly news show, the place to be for all the biggest gaming news of the week. The new God of War finally has a release date. Sony confirmed that the next big Kratos adventure will hit PS4 on April 20th. That's a Friday, by the way. Cheers, Sony. Yeah, the release date was announced at the end of a shiny new trailer, which, while not really telling us anything about the game we didn't already know, did certainly whet our appetites for more. With so many questions like, where did Kratos' son come from? And where did he grow that luscious beard? Who doesn't want to see Kratos struggling as a single parent while simultaneously tearing his enemies apart limb from limb? I, for one, can't wait to raise a virtual son, kill virtual demons, and care for my virtual facial hair all at once. In Xbox news, Microsoft have confirmed a new Gears of War game. Kind of. Sort of. Yeah, they basically have, right? Xbox boss, or Xbox, Phil Spencer recently spoke to The Verge about a big change coming to Xbox Game Pass. Namely, that all AAA exclusives going forward will launch on Game Pass on the same day as the game's retail launch. Spencer then mentioned that future Halos, future Gears of War, future Forza and others will indeed launch to Game Pass subscribers at the same time that they go to retail. It was kind of a throwaway comment, especially since a new Halo, Gears or Forza for Xbox One is about as surprising as a new Mario or Zelda for a Nintendo console. But this is the closest we've come to an official word on Gears of War 5. And I don't know about you, but if Phil Spencer mentions a future Gears of War, that's enough for me to assume that there's going to be a new Gears of War. Were you excited to play Anthem in 2018? Well, so are a lot of people. But a new report suggests that is not going to be happening. Yeah, multiple sources have told Kotaku that EA are really feeling the pressure to deliver, especially after the disappointment of Mass Effect Andromeda. Feeling is, apparently, that Anthem will be make or break for developer Bioware. As such, the ambitious sci-fi RPG has been pushed out of its late 2018 release window and into early 2019, hopefully a sign that EA really is committed to getting this game just right. Based on what we've seen and heard so far, Anthem definitely has potential, so we're all for EA and Bioware taking as much time as they need to get this right. In other EA news, it seems that a new entry in the Dragon Age series is on the way. We just have no idea exactly when. Yeah, a Dragon Age reboot has been rumoured for a while now, but was recently essentially confirmed by Bioware's Mark Dara, who serves as an exec producer on both Dragon Age and Anthem. Dara recently tweeted that he was out in Barcelona showing off Anthem to EA, but mentioned that there are people at Bioware hard at work on Dragon Age, and that he looks forward to showing more in the future. Meanwhile, sources have told Kotaku that the pressure to deliver on Anthem is so great that staff at Bioware have been pulled away from this new Dragon Age to focus on getting the sci-fi adventure ready. So, if these reports are to be believed, on the one hand, it seems a new Dragon Age is indeed in the works, but on the other hand, it won't be coming until long after work on Anthem is finished. Make of that what you will. Let's just hope that EA don't start Dragon development out for too long. <laughs> Well, that's all the news we've got for this week. Thanks for watching. Yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you've seen and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll be back next week with even more gaming news.